I'm going to show you how to easily vectorize your images in Kittle. We just recently released an image vectorizer tool and it is super easy. It's just one click of a button and I'm going to show you how to use that with our Kittle AI and I'm going to show you even importing an image that I drew in Procreate and then even vectorizing this, which is just a static pixel graphic from Procreate. But I'm going to show you how to make that vector in Kittle as well. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to use this with Kittle AI. So if I go down here to the Kittle AI tab on the bottom left, what I'm gonna use is a one, one of our clip art styles here. I love the vintage drawing style in tandem with the image vectorizer tool. So let's do a 1940s convertible car. Okay, so we're gonna go for an old style vintage car, which is gonna be great for the vintage drawing clip art style. So we're gonna give this a second, let it think about it, and it's gonna generate this pretty awesome illustration of a super old uh, convertible car. That's exactly what I asked for. Now it's got some scribbles and shading and stuff at the bottom, and it also has a white background. So the first thing we need to do when using these clip art styles is use the AI background remover. So all we have to do is click that. It's gonna work some magic, and it does a really good job taking it out now you can see because of those scribbles the shadow below it it left some white but that's okay so if I hit image vectorizer let me just let it do its thing and boom it took all of that away leaving me with a solid image a solid vector image so now I can go I can change the color maybe we want to make it like a dark blue I think this is really cool, especially with this clip art style. It does a great job, and this is going to be great for t-shirts, maybe sticker designs, uh, anything else, social posts, whatever it is. Let's try something else. Let's go for an old coffee cup. We're going to stay in this vintage drawing style, and hopefully you're already getting ideas about how you can really just come up with pretty much endless options. Now it has this white background, so okay, let's hit the AI background remover, and this is going to do a solid job, I already know, because uh, it's very, yeah, it's it, it was pretty much very easy to detect all of that white space. So now we hit image vectorizer and boom, it's given me a really nice version of the cup. Now this has some kind of weird, maybe like letters or numbers there in the middle. It may take you a couple tries. I'm just showing you this for representation as an example of how you can get vector images uh, that were not already vector. Now let's let's choose a different style. Of course you can go to our vector styles by the way in Kittle AI and just generate vector art. But let's go to a clip art and what I'm thinking is because I don't want to lose too many colors, I'm gonna go for a silhouette of a cute turtle, okay? And I'm, I want it in that kawaii style, that kawaii, uh, that cute clip art kind of round uh, style. Uh, and that's gonna give me this image right here, which is nice. I think it's nice and round in that style. Let's give it this background remover tool. Let it think for just a second. This is also super clear. Now it left a little bit of white there in the middle. It's okay because when we hit the image vectorizer, it cuts that out perfectly. So now I can go in and I can change my turtle. And you know, maybe you didn't want this specific turtle. You could give it a couple of tries. Again, I'm just showing you how easy it is to do this with the image vectorizer tool. And of course, keep in mind, all of these are scalable, okay? So if I grab this and bring it up, look, it doesn't lose any quality because now it's scalable. So if you needed this for a hoodie or something really big for print, you can do it because it's got all of the data there to be scaled very big. Also in your uploads feature, it gives you all of the iterations, everything from the generated image to the removed background to the vector version. Now what I'm gonna do is drag in an image that I drew in Procreate I showed you earlier, just a little cute uh, cat sleeping here that I used for uh, just some, some funny, simple tattoo designs. Um, and so I'm just showing you here how you can vectorize your own art that you draw in maybe something like Procreate like I did. So now I've removed the background and now I'm going to hit the image vectorizer and this did a really good job. I think the vectorizer tool does a phenomenal job. So now my little cute cat sleeping is vector. It's vector line work here and I can change the color if I need to or if I need it just to be black and use it to scale it up, I can do that too. So as you can see, it's super easy and the options are really endless, especially if you're thinking about things like t-shirt design or sticker design or having your own print on demand shop and things like that. 
the options are endless using Kittle AI as well as using our vectorizing tool. So hope you have a ton of fun with that feature. Now, if you wanna see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.